it is to have the mind of Christ. He didn't go out seeking glory. He didn't go out seeking his own. But other people spoke it over him. Other people spoke of who he was, who God called him to be, what his purpose was. Other people spoke that over him. Jesus didn't go out to get all famous, but he was famous because of who he was. We don't go out to get all famous, but we can become famous because of who he is in us. And I want to remind you that we don't get any light. We don't get any glory. We don't get none of this. I remember in my bounty hunting days, in my law enforcement days, that I would, I would go out and I would, I would try to find, find people that were hiding in the woods or hiding in different places. And we would have the spotlight out on every, every inch of the woods looking, trying to find, hunting people down. And they were hiding as much as they could hide. I mean, they were getting as low as they could get. They were down in the, in, in, in the grooves of the ground. And they were behind the trees and they were hiding, doing things like that. So we couldn't find them. That's how we need to be when we're walking for Jesus. When his light is all over us, we need to get down as low as we can get so no one sees that light. But they see him in us. We get no glory for anything in this world. Anything that God does through us, we get no glory. This church, we get, Shelly and I get no glory for this. We don't want any glory for the daycare upcoming. We don't want any glory. We get no glory for it. It's not ours. It's His. It's His. The Word of God says He made Himself of no reputation. He made himself of no reputation. It took upon him the form of a servant. Jesus took upon himself the form of a servant. I want to be like him. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be a servant. I want to serve, 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 serve. My favorite thing is to go to a wedding and just serve people. I love to serve. I don't know why I didn't do fast food because I love to serve. I just love helping people and doing things for people. I love serving. That's one of my favorite things to do is serve. So if we ever have a big dinner here, I'll, I'll serve you. I'll be glad. That wouldn't bother me one bit to serve. I was watching Jesus Revolution. I had never seen it before, but I was watching it the other day. And all these new people come into church and then there was these people that were in the church that were used to everything being the same old way. They were used to the staleness and the stagnant of the church. And all these young people started walking in. And we're going to see an influx. But all these young people started walking in. And they were just madly in love with Jesus. They wanted what he had for them. And everyone else or these other people in the church. And they, they're like probably the main givers of the church. And they're like... Well, we're not gonna. We're not gonna accept the change. Their feet are too dirty. They said their feet are too dirty. When they walk in, they get the carpet dirty. But I want you to know that that doesn't matter to Jesus. None of that matters. And so the next day, the next Sunday, come around, and the pastor was there at the front door. I'd love to do this one day. I might even do it one day. Get some tubs of water when you walk in the front door. Wash your feet. But the pastor was there, and he got, he was down in his hands and knees, and, um, and he was washing everybody's feet because they were barefooted walking through the door. What a statement. Because the guy said, they're getting the carpet all dirty. So he said, well, I'll just serve, and I'll wash their feet. And so he washed their feet, and the guy comes up and looks at him, just shakes his head and walks on into the church. And he made a statement. He said that this is the way it's going to be, and if you don't like it, the same way they're coming in the door, if you don't like it, you can hit the same door going the opposite direction. What a stand that that pastor made. What a stand that he made in that community. And what a Jesus revelation it made. One person saying yes to Jesus can make a difference. One person saying yes to Jesus can make a difference. And I want you to know this morning... We recognize your yes. 
we recognize your yes this morning. So many of you have said yes to what God is doing in Martinsville, Indiana, and we thank you for that yes this morning. So our purpose this morning today is to honor you, is to recognize you, and we're here to shine the light on you this morning to tell of who you are and whose you are. The God in you is creating servants among you, and I'm grateful for that this morning. All of you serve in so many different ways, and I'm so thankful the way you serve. It blesses my wife and I. It blesses us dearly that you come and, and you serve with us, and you do. There's so many different aspects of serving. There's so much behind the scenes that goes on. There's so much prayer that goes on. There's so much fasting that goes on. All these things. So if we can turn the spotlight on this morning, turn the lights up this morning. And Shelly and Faye are going to come. Shelly's going to dismiss the kids, I guess. They could stay. It doesn't matter. Honor them, too. For being good. I mean, look look how good they're being sitting here this morning. Well, could I so add? So what do you want to do? How do you want to do if, it? If someone needs to go to the nursery or the parent needs relief, we've got Jody going to go back to the little toddlers. So if if you need to go out, because there's only two or three of you. Babies, I was, I was sleeping now. I was going to say the changing rooms in the back restroom down the hallway, in the ladies' restroom, just for now. Hopefully next week. It'll be a different story. We'll have the actual nursery open. Um, we'll have the one and two year old's room open or one to three year old's room open. So a lot going on with the daycare. So it's part of the rooms in there are double acting as our kids church area. So we're in a little bit of transition today. So I wanna say if we have listened, if we miss somebody today We don't mean to. We're going to try to cover it. I'm learning to be unoffendable. In my walk with Christ, I'm learning to be unoffendable. So learn to be unoffendable today if someone misses you and says, man, I did this and they don't even know it. Well, keep hammering, keep doing it, stay behind the scenes, whatever it's going to take, keep doing it because one day God's going to bring that out. And, 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 and so don't ever think that we we don't appreciate everything that everybody does. Shelly and I have, if, if you guys know us, we have much going on <laughs> and we get little sleep. So we're trying not, Faye is our right hand and she helps us to remember some of these things. So um, we're going to try to just remember everyone and everybody, the things that you do, it's going to be so good. And uh, if we call someone's name out specifically and we don't call your name out specifically, please don't be offended at that. The Word of God says that we should be, we, we should be excited when someone else gets blessed. When, some, when someone else gets a check in the mail, we should be excited because of someone else getting something. So let's be excited for the ones who are recognized. Be excited for each other this morning. So I just thank you guys for being here, and I'm going to let these... Girls, take it over, but I get to throw one shirt out. Can I throw one shirt out? And then, the, all right. If the shirt don't fit you, go to one of these guys, and they'll trade it in for one that does fit you. I think I'll start off just by, um, obviously, he made the point really well. You know, we have been so blessed with um, from the build-out of this sanctuary and this church to the last two and a half, three months of the daycare, wrapping that up. Um, so many of you have come in and helped. And even if you didn't think it was much, it was much. Okay? That's, that's how we see it. Um, whether you were praying for us at home, whether you brought food in, whether you had food ordered, <laughs> um, whether you prayed and fasted, there's not one thing that we um, have not noticed in all of you. 
So we are just so grateful for what you've done. And, and um, I would love to have Linda Schatz come up a minute. She shared something with me that happened Wednesday night, and I really felt it goes wrong with the daycare, just kind of what God's doing. Um, even Randy today, he walked over this morning, and there is just an awesome presence of the Lord in that daycare. And um, we know that God is always already going before us to touch these young ones. At this time, we have about 26 people interested. We're not sure if they're all going to choose us or not, but we have an open house this coming Thursday from 5 to 7. So um, we're going to start off with, right now our infants are full. That would be seven beds. Um, even how the Lord, yeah, that's amazing. Um, and the whole, a year ago when this began laid on our heart and I started researching some things, I thought, oh, for the whole first year, we won't even do babies. We'll just put that off for year two. Let's just see how it rolls and goes. And so when we opened this up, I was shocked um, how many people with babies and infants were interested. Yeah, there's 15, one and under. And um, so we've already had to separate we were going to put them together, but that's now a whole nother story. <laughs> so we, the nursery is amazing. Um, we're not totally done. Like Faye announced earlier, we do need, um, and even on Marketplace, I'm searching for two decent gliders for the nursery. And um, then some of the tight, the little tykes, cozy coops, and the little things that, you know, they push, that's going to go around the whole track of the inside. So Today after church, if you want to run over real quick and just stay on the black mats and walk around and look, um, you're more than welcome to do that. You'll kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. But there are some few things that we still need. And, and the thing is, we've had so much donated until we got the rooms in order and everything in its place. I didn't want anyone buying one more thing or bringing something in because, you know, we may not needed it. So now I kind of have a good idea. And I could even make a list for next week. Um, we have some amazing workers coming in, too. Let me share, let me have Linda share real quick, um, just of God's presence that's over there right now. This was about Wednesday night. Go ahead. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, we're in, <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh we're back here in the kitchen, and uh, Sherry and Don Tuttle had brought some vegetables, and we was back there talking and uh, getting some vegetables. And uh, Shelly came in, and she said, after we pray, we're going to go back to the nursery and uh, daycare, and we're going to uh, put some things away. And so we came in here and prayed and everything. And But while we're back there, Shelly says, we're going to put some things away. And uh, there's some metal that's in the back, uh, the play area. And we're just going to throw it over the fence because we do have people that come along and pick that up and sell it, you know. And Jimbo said, yeah, I can get gold from that. So... Evidently, he's sold some, and he's got gold money from it. But anyway, if you know me, that sometimes my mouth just opens up and stuff comes out of it. And I love to make people laugh, so sometimes I probably should say what I say. But anyway, when he said that, I said, well, I like picking up diamonds. And so we come back in here, and we were praying and some of us was leaving. Some of us older ladies were leaving. And Helen, our oldest lady that goes here, I was sitting over there where uh, Travis. Travis, thank you. I love Travis. Uh, where Travis was sitting, and she stopped and she said, and now get this, she was not back there. She hadn't even arrived to church. And she stopped me, and she was telling me goodbye. And she said, there's a whole bunch of diamonds over here for you to pick up. And I just looked at her, and I'm going, what? 
you know, did I hear that right? Is that you, Lord, that's saying that? Or did Helen really say that? So I felt immediately that it was, had something to do with the daycare. Now, I'm very passionate about our daycare, open it up, and I'm more passionate about what our children are going to be taught. I will fight you to the bitter end if you're going to harm one of those children. It's, it's just my heart, and I thought, that's what they are. They're little diamonds, and we got to take care of those diamonds because they are the most precious thing that we have here on earth. So. Is that not the sweetest? Our 98-year-old Helen says there's a bunch of diamonds for you to pick up. <laughs> and the Lord is just confirming to Linda, those are our children. And they are. And that goes along with even the workers he has sent to me. And it was word of mouth. It was just seeing things. A year ago, I saw one woman, and I'd always kind of followed her because I was intrigued to how she had other children at our home and how she cared for them and the things she posted and her own children. Um, and she's one that I hired to come on. So even a year ago, the Lord was highlighting people to me. These children will be loved well. They'll be taught well of the Lord. So we are so excited. Um, again, we appreciate every person who has prayed, fasted, given a penny, given a hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. Um, I loved Linda says, us older women. Well, there's many times they've come in and just prayed through the building as we worked or sat here and prayed as we were working over there. So it is, it is the power of prayer, as we all know, is mighty and um, not anything little. <laughs> so we appreciate just everything everyone has done. I was just going to share real quick. Um, with that generation, with Linda's generation, they have brought such wisdom and just knowledge and I just love their hearts because even when we were building out the sanctuary they were driving in here or they were calling can we bring you guys food can we do this well, like they didn't just sit down and just think oh all I can do is pray they wanted to get involved and I just want to say thank you yeah. personally just yeah. to Helen and Sheila and Linda for the yeah. things that they did do for us even yeah. as we were building out and it wasn't just me and Jason and Shelly, it was whoever was here in the building they were providing food for. They didn't care if it was two people or 15 people. Yeah. And I just think that that is such a blessing and just a way that we get to honor them because they honored us. And yeah. so I just want to personally just yeah. say thank you for that Amen. part of it. Amen. So how many of you... When you pull up in the parking lot and you see Nate in the lime green shirts and all the guys, <laughs> I love that addition. Um, Nate had an emergency call through his work, so he could not be here today. But um, all the guys that work and put on the lime green or yellow, I don't know what color it is, orange stripes, you know, they're out there. That was their idea. They all wanted to jump in. And I think it's a great addition to what is happening here at Life of Love. Then you've got the Greek team obviously. That's so many of you. Um, when you come through the doors, before you even get to the doors, um, everyone welcoming others and loving on them so well. If you're on the greet team or the um, parking lot attendant team, go ahead and stand up. We thank you and honor you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We thank you. Yeah. She's, she's a great greeter, too. The prayer team is just kind of, right now, it's just been a hodgepodge of whoever loves to pray, and we're fine with that. So if you are a prayer warrior and you have um, been covering us in prayer, please stand. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I love many times Jimbo and Uve. They drive from Indianapolis. 
and um, they'll be praying and having conversations on the way down, and it will be the sermon. I mean, I don't know how many Sundays that happens. And then Wednesday nights, because they're in Indy, they, they always come Wednesday nights, so they're not here a lot throughout the week. But Wednesday night, when they're here, boy, do we have a list for them to do. <laughs> like, they're not driving out of this parking lot until we have some of the muscles. And, and Wade, too. Wade's been a, an awesome help as well. Um, so many. Um, this last week, Don and Sherry just kind of popped in. They had already been serving his, their sister-in-law. And um, we had them busy with the cart, <laughs> moving stuff around. We appreciate it, guys. Oh, yeah, so Donnie, yeah, Donnie was here from probably December to April, almost as much as Jason was, <laughs> um, bringing his food in, making his lunch here, just doing every little thing that he could do uh, day in and day out. So we appreciate that, Donnie. You want to do the production team? Yeah. As we were discussing all the different teams, I want anybody who serves on the production team for me to please stand up. Because a lot of times, this is stuff that gets done beforehand. Our service doesn't start at 11 a.m. I tell them our service starts. If you're doing media, you're here at 9, 9.30. If you're doing production, you're here at 10.30. And they come relentlessly, and they show up. And when you're back there working, we don't... We enjoy the service, but we don't get to really take in a lot of it. So we pray. I try to pray every Sunday morning, Lord, let it be spirit to spirit. And I have seen growth in each and every one of them. And when we started the team, I told them, I said, I want this to be a family. Because when we're a family, we can lean on one another. And recently, one of our family members lost a dear friend theirs and for us the team came alongside and just supported and prayed and loved on him and to me I cannot thank you guys enough because doing it by myself would be absolutely impossible at this point in time so I thank each and every one of you for for doing what you do for the church and for me all right we have the cafe team which we've not had the cafe going since we've been in the new building. <laughs> so just hold your horses. Um, back in January, I believe we have 20 some people that are anxiously awaiting the cafe um, to serve you all. Kingdom Kids teachers, if you could stand. I know it's a kind of a rotation basis. Not everyone's here today. We've got Crystal back here. Um, yep, Bree. Bree helps organize. We've got Brandy. Ashley, you can stand because um, Ashley's going to take over elementary scheduling and um, connecting with teachers. So they're new to, the, uh, to Martinsville. Thanks, Ashley. Um, we just appreciate, guys, um, all the toddler. Go ahead, if you're a toddler volunteer, stand up. Um, yeah, there's many of you. A lot of them are not here. We've got all the towel girls. <laughs> This, this women, the women back here in the back 40, they have hearts for children. So we actually have a couple of the teenagers coming in to help with the daycare from three to six. So we're excited for what the towels bring, not even at church, but for the daycare now too. All right, what about if you have worked at the water immersion services at any point? We've done this now for three years, a little over three years, um, over two years on our own. So stand up if you've done anything in any manner with the water immersion services the last Sunday of every month. Yeah, you guys, a lot. There's so much, um, and we so appreciate. Nancy and Bob, I tell you what, where'd Bob Peden go? Oh, well, they take those towels home, those wet towels, and um, we're, we've, we just have going to kind of reorganize that and let other people take towels home. <laughs> Because it, it's growing, like every month, it's just increasing at the people that's visiting. And um, amazing things that God is doing. So, um, Steve, you're sitting down, Steve Brown. You've been in the water helping immerse. So, anyway, we, we love the water immersion service. All of you, I'm sure, 
in your own area of where you've served have seen the transformation of the people. I love hearing the testimonies back. I have a picture one time I walked around the corner and it was Nancy praying with somebody, one of the women who had just gotten out of the water. I just thought it was just so precious when we, we've kind of given up our spot at the water and we've kind of just been roaming and helping and doing whatever. And so I love coming, a, coming upon the things we're witnessing that night of the water immersion service because just this last Sunday we hosted it and we had more people out in the hallway getting extra freedom once they got out of the water. It was so, God's glory was so thick. They didn't want to leave if they thought something really wasn't dealt with yet. It was precious. Um, so we just are excited again for the, what is it, August 27th, I think? Hey, while we're here, can we give a testimony real quick of a, yeah. just a brief testimony of what God Miss did Aunt for Aunt Teresa, that's what I call her. <laughs> well, I went into the water Sunday. And the devil was fighting me. Can I do a backstory real quick? Aunt yes. Teresa came, and for those who cannot get in the water, we have them sit on the front row. So she had been sitting. She had already had prayer. And um, then she kept thinking, I'm getting in that water, didn't you? Yeah. I said, I'm going to. And then the devil was there. and He wasn't going to let me go. And I finally said, I am going into that water. Right. And by the grace of God, I did. And I went in for healing on my back. I've got arthritis in my back. And I could stand for 15 minutes in the kitchen to try and cook something or do dishes, and I'd have to go sit down. Well, Sunday night, I went in the water for healing of that and for the essential tremors. And as you can see, I'm holding this microphone, and it ain't shaking all over the place. So God has healed that. And I know he's going to continue to heal that. And I have been able to walk through Walmart and get what I need to get without saying, I got to sit down. I got to sit down. That's awesome. That's God awesome. is good. He's good all yes. the time. So Miss Twyla, her niece, uh, starts blowing my phone up. I think it was Monday morning or Monday afternoon or Tuesday. I don't know. It was early in the week. And I was so busy, I didn't get to read it right away. But when I read it, I just, just was laughing. You know, here she, she was like saying, she went all the way through Walmart, didn't have to sit, didn't have to rest. And she's not sitting when she's at home and blah, blah, blah. So I was just so rejoicing um, over how you've been touched. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So we all know how powerful the water immersion service is. We got Travis healed of stage four cancer. We've had others, health issues, uh, maybe horrible reports, and all of a sudden the reports weren't so bad. So God is moving and continually will move. I wanted to... Um, Oh, she's fine. Where's just content? I wanted to say one thing about Bob and Nancy. They, um, they're our trash picker uppers. So every Sunday, they'll go around, they have their little spots of gathering trash. And um, we finally got a dumpster. But even at the beginning, at this new building, Bob was like, I'm taking this home. I've got my own dumpster. So it's just sweet. Like, it's just their little thing they do. You know, and Nancy's retired teacher and art teacher, um, they just serve. I have known them for, I think, 35 years is what I figured up the other night. We met at Assembly of God back in 88, June 88. And I know that because I just had my first baby and I thought I'm going to find a church. <laughs> so there I've met them. Um, Bob's retired. They just, they have hearts to serve. Bob's the greeter. He's probably the the best called greeter, uh, the gift of greeting. Uh, he probably should head up the team. <laughs> we, you all know Bob. Anyway, um, I want to just thank them for just the trash roundup. And um, all these teams that we were announcing, anybody can join. We don't even know if they're officially teams, but we'll make them a team. If you have another idea, <laughs> let us know. So I have, a, I have a team that I would like them to join. There's a team, Shelly. 
Team Shelly, because listen, I don't, I don't know if you guys realize, I get on to my wife like all the time for being on social media. But probably every one of you can see a post where she's liked your post, she's talked about your post, she's commented on your post, she's everything. I mean, she will go to bed posting stuff and commenting things about people in your post loving you. She's so good at loving people on social media. I'm not a Facebook person, um, but she is. And so I'm grateful for her and what she does. And that, Shelly, you, I don't know if you realize. I don't know if you guys realize how much she does. Uh, and we, and we, go, we, we go to bed at night and, and um, she's like, I'm so tired. While she still has a phone in her hand telling people how much Jesus loves him, telling people how precious they are. And so, um, and I'll probably still get on to her for being on social media a lot, but, um, but it's paying off because she's a networker. And she got her, she networked so much last night that they shut her account down for a little bit on Facebook. <laughs> They blocked her account for some reason because she was sending so much out to people. She's so excited about the daycare. And the daycare is a dream of hers from a, from a young age, and it's been spoken over her. And so um, thank you, Lord, for answering her prayer at, at the ripe age of 36. <laughs> so if you guys want to help, Team Shelly would be really good because um, she, she needs some networkers. She needs people to help her network, people to help her communicate with others. And um, she's got a heavy, heavy load. You know, like I said, we've got 11 grandkids, one on the way, and that's a load in itself. And so um, just continue to pray for her that, um, that the Lord will continue to bless her and give her strength through all of her hard work. And, and she puts up with me. The coolest thing about putting up with me is, <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing. Thank you. Because I can get moody sometimes because I'm tired and I probably need a Snickers bar, but I can't have a Snickers bar. And, I'm, you know, I get tired and, um, and she just overlooks it. I mean, she's the best person at overlooking any mood that I come in. She's like, yeah, you're in a mood. And she just walks away and just like, <laughs> and so um, thank you. Thank you, Shelly, for being my bride. And thank you for being the leader here. I'm going to add to that for just a second because I wanted to honor Shelly as well. Um, I want you guys to know, I, Shelly and I have been friends for probably 24, close to 25 years, and um, I've never seen or been around anybody who loves people the way that she does. She's the first person, like when you are frustrated, she's the first person to say, oh, well, you know. And I just, I love her heart, but I want you guys to know that she's the first one to say, hey, I want to recognize my volunteers. I want to recognize the people who step up and help. She's the first person who does that. And she's also the first person, if I took a picture of her last Sunday, I said, who would have thought Shelly had a vacuum in her hand? I wish I had thought of it. I would have put it up there. It was a really good picture, too. But she is. She's the first person. She loves to clean. She loves to have a clean atmosphere. She loves to have this place, not just in the natural cleaned, but in the spirit. Her heart is so for the glory of God and the presence to be here in this place. And I just, as your friend, just thank you for that because it has made me grow so much in my compassion for others, just seeing your compassion for everyone. So thank you. You're welcome, welcome. And all that to say, I'm a great delegator. So um, let me know what you wanna do. <laughs> let me know what you wanna lead because uh, taking over the daycare and even though I'll have help there, I think there's 11 of us right now. So uh, God has sent some amazing people. Um, I won't be able to do everything here at the church, nor do I want to. So we're looking for people who love to lead, um, love to connect, um, any little thing. I do love to clean. I can't say it's a downfall, but I just love to clean. So um, I don't mind having a sweeper in my hand or the toilet bowl cleaner in my hand. I do love bathrooms. I don't know why, but I love cleaning bathrooms. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, so our clean team, we have talked with Tracy Mowry, and she may be taking over and raising up some of our clean team people. So things are moving. God has the last several months allowed um, just some great connections even here for the church, like Ashley coming in and taking the load off, Bree taking the load off of me for toddler, um, organizing toddler information and uh, teachers and Ashley we're looking at a new kids church curriculum and um, possibly even needing one extra teacher we are highly considering uh, breaking up elementary uh, five to seven year olds and then eight to 13 so we would need um, a few extra teachers on a rotation basis for that five to seven age group unless you want to go to the eight to 13 however it works but Ashley if you want to raise your hand that's see her or I, we're going to um, be working on that. So if you have an opportunity to teach or, you know, maybe it's something you're stepping out as a, out of a comfort zone, you know, um, God's mighty. And um, you would not believe, I remember teaching kids church years ago. I had Nancy and Bob's kids and how you learn from teaching the word of God and the stories I remember looking back in my early 20s, what I was learning of the Lord just by teaching them. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, we have some great curriculum choices too. So we're excited even for Kids Church and the uh, involvement of that and, and what is coming for our kids. Um, and, and we've not, we've had this spoke over us, like with the daycare opening, how many people we may be getting from those families. We've never even thought of that. We're just opening a daycare because we felt like that's what God said to do. So um, our church could be growing on Sundays, and therefore we need to break up some classes now that we have some of the room. So be prepared to, um, I mean, we may even come out and ask you. <laughs> you have well, a lot to offer of the Lord. So I think that that's, you know, we've been praying about it. Um, I'd like to share the teams that need leads because maybe you just don't re realize that we need a leader on that team because as a leader, we want you to be the recruiter. Yeah. We want you to be is like, hey, you know, would you be interested in joining the cleaning team? Would you be interested in organizing things? We had a meeting and we said that, you know, hey, we would love to start a parking lot team and Nate Tuttle's like, hey, I got it the next Sunday. He's here. He's recruiting yeah. people and he's got men and and young boys out in the parking lot helping direct cars. So if we let you guys know and it's your heart and something's like, hey, this is something I would love to take on, um, you just get with uh, Pastor Shelly and she'll tell you what she does right now because it's really simple. It's just organizing and, and just recruiting. But um, like she said, the cafe team isn't f quite up and running yet, but we will need a cafe team leader. Um, we need a great team leader, about the, too. The cafe, we have somebody that is um, paying for someone to come in and finish the plumbing and getting the merchandise room going and the, the cafe open. So it won't be long. So hang on. Yeah. Um, the greet team, I mean, there's so many of you out there. Um, but we, need, we would love to have somebody just come in and take the lead over that greet team and saying, hey, you know what? because we know you all love to be a part of prayer as well. So we'll just kind of organize, organize it and say, hey, we need four greeters. So every Sunday, just when people walk in the door, they're being welcomed with the love of Jesus. But somebody to take over that. Um, the prayer team, I think um, Elaine kind of organizes just as far as making sure if you do text a prayer request, she gets it out to that. As And then the app helps with that as well. Um, she brought up Elaine. I want to. I know Elaine doesn't like to be noticed, but Elaine, she sends out cards. She, um, Linda too. Linda connects with the people who are new to the church. Elaine sends them out for anniversaries or um, if there's a death in the family, just kind of however things roll. Um, but she also makes labels for our kids' church stuff. I mean, all these things seem maybe trivial, but they're so important. She was retired from Coca-Cola and has labels galore, which has obviously allowed us not to buy a box of labels. <laughs> so um, she is our computer person reg registering our children. We are going to go to a different system as soon, but we have appreciated all the time, Elaine, that you've, my crazy calls, add this kid, <laughs> add this kid to this number. <laughs> 
she's awesome. So for those of you who would love to volunteer, you can go to the LOL app. And on there, there's a volunteer opportunity or ways to serve. You can also go to our website. If you go to the app and you click on the logo that takes you to our website, you go to connect and volunteer. There's a form you can fill out. You can tell us how often you want to volunteer. You don't have to, to do it every Sunday. If you say, hey, I only want to do it every two or three months, that's all you have to do it. But we want to honor you. We want to thank you guys for doing that and, and for being with us. Because the truth is, I have never met two people that love people so well. I don't think that there's one of you that walks in this building that they don't make you feel like you're the most important person to them. I have, I watched, have watched them do that from day one. And um, what you guys do they couldn't do without you. This place wouldn't be here today if it wasn't without your guys' support and the things that people do behind the scenes, whether it be through prayer, things that we don't know that you're doing. You know, it, it, may, it may not be noticed by man, but I can assure you it does not go unnoticed by God. And as Randy has been stressing on Sunday mornings, you're making deposits for your, with, for your kingdom bank. And that's what's more important than the things here on earth is what we do for his kingdom. So you all want to stand up. Gonna Shelly's toss, going to toss some shirts. We'll toss a couple shirts. We got a few books, a couple more hats. <laughs> Let's see here. Where's all the kids? This one's a... Oh, try that. Hmm. Who wants a yes shirt? <laughs> All right, who likes to read? Oh, we know you. Do you have God's glory? You do. Yeah, David. Come here. Come up here. This, this is improvident, improvisational. So this is a day of thank yous and everything. So it wouldn't be fitting without thanking this man right here. Some, some of you know our, uh, somewhat of our testimony by my wife and I. I'm going to try to get through this. <laughs> some, of, some of you know that we came from Louisiana, moved to Indiana, to Martinsville for whatever reason except for God's plan. And the night that I came here was the night of the opening. And Jason committed about two, two and a half hours before the whole thing amidst everything. He stopped what he was doing. He poured into my life, and he's done it ever since. So our family is in Florida. We moved to Louisiana seven years ago or so, and then we moved here about two months ago and everything. So there's blood family, which is in Florida, and there's church family. Everyone on this stage has been a family member to us, and so they are our family. Um, I commend you for leading this group as our pastor, as our shepherd. And I thought it was kind of cliche, the life of love, but truly like witnessing like what love looks like in a faith family resides in this man's heart and every one of you in this room and everything. So it wouldn't be fitting without saying thank you to him and being our leader. So thank you. And I just texted him the other night when he always texts me, I love you, man. I'm like, I, I, I use humor a lot. And so I always have some kind of weird thing. I'm like, he sent me something the other night. And I said, I think Ashley gave me that in like a Valentine's Day card or something. But uh, anyways, I just, I couldn't let today go without saying thank you for him. Yeah, yeah. So Shelly's got some books here. So God's Glory, this is from my pastor, Todd Smith in North Georgia. Super, super book. I've read it several times. So if you guys, um, first, first adult that comes up here gets this book. <laughs> Come on. You got to read it. I'm going to let her have it. I'll get you one. Yeah, there you go. You got that one? Do you have that one? You don't have that one? Yeah. Yeah. Then I have a, um, for a teenager, I have a Bible here. Huh? Preteen. Teenager, preteen. There you go. Bless you. So just remember what, what we said, Jesus, um, he didn't get, he didn't, 
light himself up. He just was light because that's who he was. And so just remember, stay as low as you can go. Stay out of the limelight. The light is going to shine through you. Jesus is going to shine through you. But stay low that they see him and they don't see you. So just thank you guys for all that you do. We just commend you. And so let's just stand together and let's just, uh, let's just give everyone a warm thank you. So thank you very much. So also, um, while you guys are leaving, um, if you have your kids, keep your kids with you, but we're going to walk, you can walk over to the daycare and stay on the black um, carpet around the daycare and just walk over there and just say a prayer before you leave today. We have an inspection Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So the state fire marshal will be here Tuesday. Um, we have some things to get done for him to be here. Uh, Wednesday, we have the state for the daycare um, will be here. And then Thursday, we will have our occupancy, our full occupancy um, permit. And so we're just grateful for the city of Martinsville, Indiana, and all that they're doing for us and standing behind us. Yeah, so you can exit through the daycare door. So when you go out, you can go out the daycare doors back there if you to take all your stuff, your cups, your everything, because if there's cups left, we're sending them to Africa. Thank you, guys. Bless you. <laughs>